Hello girls, it's Yolanda Renee and Skylar. Today we're going to be showing you how we moisturize her box braids and mainly her scalp. We are starting off with rose water and glycerin by Heritage Store. You can also use other ingredients such as aloe vera juice, you can use a regular water, or you can use coconut water. Products such as this are antifungal, antibacterial, and it basically prevents dandruff, um, and it prevents your scalp from itching. And overall, it really does moisturize your hair. Aloe vera juice is very, very moisturizing and hydrating. So always add, you know, these type of ingredients first before you put oil onto your scalp. If you constantly put oil directly on your scalp, you're basically just going to irritate your scalp. Um, it's going to be more itchy because you're not locking in any moisture you're just locking in dryness um, it also makes your scalp overproduce its own natural oils and of course if you have too much of a good thing oil on top of oil on top of oil it can clog your pores dry your scalp out more and it eventually will dry out your hair and of course drying out your hair ends up leading to breakage so whether you have braids in or not remember this step do not just add oil to your scalp always moisturize hydrate massage it and then add the oil to seal all that goodness in don't worry i'll have all this information in the description box i swear i need to start blogging again but look in the description box for all that information and some of the products we like to use. So right now I am doing Skylar's Edges, which I'm so happy we have seen absolutely no breakage whatsoever. I know we were all concerned because she's so young. And box braids can be potentially damaging to your hair, especially a kid's hair. Um, but she has no breakage. Skylar has always had... I like to call baby hairs because these hairs that I'm brushing down, they've always been like this. Um, they're a completely different texture than all the rest of her hair. And they really lay down so nicely. I just love her baby hair, even though some people say it's not. But whatever, that's what we're calling it. <laughs> um, so yeah, no breakage. So bravo to that. We have been using Jamaican black castor oil on her edges as well. But right now I'm just styling her hair. We're just going to do two little buns because this was her Easter um, hairstyle. So we wanted to make her look like a little bunny. And she loved this style. And I'm just using some rubber bands. Just like, I don't know, regular rubber bands. They're clear. And that's our routine you guys we do this every two to three days and her scalp and hair are flourishing I'm very proud of that hopefully you got some tips try these on yourself and your children's hair let us know if you have any questions in the comment section and also stay tuned for her outfit of the day and also check out Taylor's hair and outfit of the day for Easter as well and we also have a vlog up so you might as well check that out too all right curls thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are enjoying all of our wonderful videos we have so much more in store for you we are so inspired all right curls goodbye Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thank you.